What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide video. We are on the 87th moveset guide, I'm kidding, this is like the third. Uh, but a lot of you guys really requested for me to cover uh, Serilege and Armor Rouge, or Armor Rogue, whatever it is. I think it's Armor Rogue. Armor Rouge? Uh, Armor Rouge, okay. People always correct me, but I get it wrong every time. Anyways, point is, uh, we'll be covering those two today. Uh, today, you know, right now you're watching the Serilege video, uh, but we'll be covering Armor Rouge later. Uh, and yeah, uh, this is actually a really cool Pokemon. It's a ghost in fire type with a lot of really awesome tools at its disposal. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I'm bringing you daily competitive Pokemon content, especially in the Scarlet and Violet era. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. And yeah, I just beat the game. Uh, but despite that, I am not going to be posting spoilers. So for the next couple of days, we'll keep doing moveset guides on Pokemon that have already been revealed. Uh, yesterday, I covered uh, Satitan and Cyclozar. So, you know, out of the Pokemon that have already been revealed, we'll probably do one or two more days of those, and then we'll get into doing it in Dex order. So comment down below what you want me to cover, and let's go ahead and get into this. So, like I said, Serilege is a fire and ghost type. That is a typing it shares with one brand new Pokemon uh, that I'm not going to say the name of, and a... Um, and Chandelure, and probably one more I'm forgetting, but uh, it's it differentiates itself from both of those because this is a physical ghost fire type. Now, when I was covering this initially, I said that the only way this is going to be like a really good Pokemon is if it gets access to close combat, which lo and behold it does, so that does uh, find its way onto a few movesets here. Uh, but as for the stats, you know, this thing uh, has 75 HP, 125 attack, 80 defense, 60 special or 60 special attack, uh, 100 special defense and 85 speed. Those are not bad like defenses. It actually makes this thing decently bulky as an offensive Pokemon, uh, but it comes at the expense of having a pretty middling speed tier. Honestly, I would prefer if this thing had 85 special defense and 100 speed rather than the other way around uh, because it would allow you to hit that sacred 100 speed tier where you're uh you know faster than lando t where you're around the same speed tier as like charizard where you're outspeeding arcanine which is definitely going to be a thing in this format uh but unfortunately it's it's a little bit shy of that however 85 is pretty serviceable that's the same speed tier as rillaboom i believe uh but yeah if that gives you an idea as to what speeds you can achieve uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the moveset. Oh, I should have mentioned, uh, it does have the abilities Flash Fire and Weak Armor. Weak Armor is pretty eh, you could make use of it, but I think Flash Fire for the most part is going to be better. You'll be able to switch in on Will-O-Wisps for other physical attackers. Uh, however, if you do run a, if you do want to run Weak Armor on pretty much every one of these sets, uh, be my guest. It does make it decently fast, uh, and that will allow you to go down to like a Focus Sash and then hit something. So it's not, it's not a bad ability. I just think that Flash Fire is probably going to be better for the most part. So yeah, the first moveset we have here is going to be my Splashable moveset. As always, we're doing Splashable, Alternative, and then the Fun moveset. Uh, so the Splashable moveset that we have here is going to be a very standard Focus Sash with the ability Flash Fire or Weak Armor, your choice. Uh, Swords Dance, Bitter Blade, Close Combat, and Shadow Claw. That being said, you can swap out Close Combat or Shadow Claw for uh, the alternative moves of Shadow Sneak or Sacred Sword, depending on your uh, preference. Uh, but Making this thing a Swords Dance attacker is actually pretty decent. Uh, you know, Fire and Ghost is really good coverage, but it really needed that fighting type to make sure it could break through, uh, you know, like opposing uh, rock types so it doesn't get like walled out by that because uh, Tyranitar is definitely going to be a thing in this format that uh, this guy will have to deal with. Uh, but yeah, max speed is usually going to be the best for this dude since uh, a lot of things are hanging around in the 85 to 90 speed tier in this game. So you want to make sure that you're at least uh, outspeeding a lot of those. And the combination of Focus Sash plus Bitter Blade is actually quite good because while you might take some sand chip damage or maybe you'll get snarled by an opposing Pokemon to take chip damage that doesn't knock you down uh, to like super low health, uh, Bitter Blade is a fire type attack that is basically a reskin of Leech Life. So whatever damage you deal to the opponent, you'll get 50% of that damage dealt back as HP, which is really cool because it makes it so if you take any initial damage from anything, your Focus Sash isn't useless yet. You can be at like 70% health and then Bitter Blade like an opposing Grass type, get back up to uh, full health and then all of a sudden, you know, you have that Focus Sash again and then it saves you. Obviously it can't activate twice, but you know, the issue with a lot of Focus Sash users is that chip damage that makes their item pretty much null and void. <clears throat> Excuse me, null and void. Uh, so yeah, 
Uh, this moveset is just generally decent. I, I mean, like, it's it's a splash moveset. You'll find this thing uh, being a decent lead, as it can't be faked out. Uh, it can't be will-o'-wisped, so yeah. I, I would even argue that, like, for this moveset, if you really wanted to, you could switch the item to a life orb or even the clear amulet. And the reason the clear amulet's actually probably not that bad uh, is because not only are you burn immune and fake out immune, but that also makes you intimidate immune, making your damage across the board just super reliable. It's very similar to Entei, how it had all of these benefits to it. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be the first moveset. For the alternative moveset, uh, this is going to be a Focus Sash sort of supportive offense set. Uh, obviously, this is very similar to the other moveset. Uh, I'll be honest, every moveset on here looks more or less the same because this thing is, it's its very two-dimensional. It's not that complicated of a Pokemon. Uh, but we're running, once again, Jolly Max Speed, Max Attack, Bitter Blade, Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, and Shadow Claw. For this set, I highly recommend the Focus Sash. You do not want to go with like a Life Orb for this one. Uh, but the benefits of this uh, are that with the tools of Taunt and Will-O-Wisp at your disposal, you're going to be able to outspeed a decent amount of physical attackers and burn them, allowing this thing's natural bulk to uh, like just eat a hit a little bit easier uh, and support the rest of your teammates. Honestly, with uh, terrestrialization in the metagame, uh, there, there are a lot of Pokemon that can be very difficult to deal with on the damage side of things. So having the tool to burn it for like setup sweepers, like I guess Dragonite's Tyranitar, uh, is going to be very good for you. Uh, and I know I haven't mentioned terrestrialization yet. Honestly, it's it's not going to come into play with this thing too often. I would say if you want to terrestrialize it into anything, just keep it as like a fire type or a ghost type, depending on what you want. If you want to be burn immune, make sure you run a fire type in your team. If you want to be fake out immune, run a ghost type. Uh, I, you could even make it like a fighting type generally if you want to be like a close combat mon, but I don't think it's that good. Uh, I guess flash fire also makes you burn immune, so consider that. So yeah, uh, this is just like a fast supportive set. Uh, you'll be able to be an offensive threat, uh, KOing things like uh, Amoongus with Bitter Blade, uh, as well as being able to just taunt into them and prevent them from KOing, not KOing, but like sleeping a partner Pokemon in case you've been like intimidated one too many times and you know you can't KO it before it spores. Uh, taunt is a very good tool. Stopping Trick Rooms is very good. Stopping Follow Me is very good. So yeah, uh, this is just, you know, slight alternative to the first one. And finally, the fun move set. This thing is is not too fun. Uh, when I when I talk about like a fun Pokemon, I talk about Pokemon with like branching paths of how you can use it. But this thing has like one way to use it. So my fun move set is literally just a choice banded set. Uh, yeah. Uh, this thing has a lot of really decent physical moves at its disposal. Uh, obviously, Bitter Blade and Shadow Claw or Shadow Sneak, depending on your preference, uh, are good tools. Uh, but it also has access to close combat to allow it to hit opposing rock types uh, or uh, dark types if you need to hit those, uh, as well as Poison Jab to beat fairy Pokemon. Uh, but beyond that, uh, it has like other just super cool things. If you want to run uh, flame charge. I suppose that's an option, but I don't think you want to run that in like the, the choice banded set. Uh, but it has moves like Psycho Cut. Uh, it has moves like X Scissor. Uh, if you want to Terra Blast it into like a different typing, like maybe become a rock type. I don't know. You can do that. Uh, it's got a lot of options as far as physical attacks go. Like the coverage is like out of the world, uh, out of this world. So yeah, not too fun this time around, but I will say, I think it's a I think it's a decent Pokemon. It will find usage. I think the issue with this thing is um, uh, it, it kind of gets outshined by its alternative form, uh, not not form, but like its other branched evolution, uh, Armor Rouge, uh, mainly just because that thing has more options and it's probably gonna be better in VGC. Uh, but also this thing does not like dealing with Arcanine, which I guarantee you is gonna be like a decent Pokemon or that new dark type Intimidate Pokemon, like that's gonna be good. Uh, so yeah, this thing is going to struggle a bit, but I think it'll be fine. It will find a place in the early metagame, maybe even late metagame, someone will find a, a purpose for it on their team. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications, uh, and you know, I'll be coming right back you know, in a couple of hours, maybe like one or two hours after this one goes up with the uh, Armor Rouge moveset, which I'm more excited to cover. I, I wanted to do that second because I find that one a little bit more exciting. So yeah. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.